Well, hello everyone and welcome to the channel and this is of life and land. You heard that right, let's do this. Let's get straight in. A brand new city builder that is coming. All right, here we are. Ah, good. You are here. All right. Yep, let's get through all this. I'm going to get straight in. So we're basically building and getting through like any good city builder. <laughs> let's do it. I'm going to pause it up and we'll welcome ourselves in. So we've got the helps and tips. I'm not really going to use them. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm going to wing it. All good fun, right? Each item inside of this game produces something. You see that? So we've got fruit tree, six leaves, and 20 wood. But we do have a few quests to get us going here. So raw material supply. We've got uh, one forester stump, gatherer shack, garden bed, and simple stone mason. So we're going to start with the forester stump. So down here we got our build menu. We've got our items here. So very cool. Obviously, I quite like the colours in the menu, it's very colourful, look how far you can zoom out, and the map is pretty damn cool as well. You can zoom in stupidly close as well, which is always nice. Kind of low poly, and I quite like that, but the, the art style is pretty cool as well, I think. Anyway, we'll start, you get this uh, little road, and your kind of food crates as you start out, and that's literally it. As you click a building, it'll tell you what's kind of in vicinity to gather, and you get these little black dots, and that's the bit area it kind of covers. So the map has... A way up you can kind of see it into here so depending on this they will pick fruit from the fruit trees on the gatherers so it'll tell you over there what it can produce and it'll tell you can pick fruits collect grass to feed animals in barns or collect and, th and thresh cereal grains right r to rotate i'm actually going to pop it right there that's going to be our first one and then we're going to get a little road kind of coming up you want to try I, I was playing i didn't really want to destroy too many trees but it's fine just going to do that Get rid of that one tree. There's our first thing going in. And then we're going to go for a, a garden bed. Still need the forester. So the forester stump obviously is going to cut down trees. You kind of don't want them to cut down the thingy trees so much. There's two fruit trees in that amount. I'm going to actually have a look over. I think there is good. So that covers all of these tree areas. 13 conifers, two broadleaf trees, 25 bushes there. So we're going to get our forester stump just there as well. I'm going to do the usual and get a little road in. And then up next, we'll probably consider, before we go into these, we've got Garden Bed, which uh, you have Straw Hut, Campfire, Mud Street. The Garden Bed is one of these, I think. There it is. So if we take care of the garden, we'll get lots of roots, berries, and some grass. This is like a little farm plot, essentially. And we need to pick where we're going to kind of put the housing area. You don't want too much walking. I think uh, distribution does matter in this game as well. But I'm going to go ahead and grab in garden beds right there. We're going to grab six. I only wanted one, but I'm going to do loads anyway. I do believe the game is supposed to be relatively difficult too. You can speed it up up to 300x. It's pretty crazy. I love that. Obviously, one, two, three, four upwards are the hot keys for speeding up as well. And then you have your seasons as well. So winter, spring. So it starts in spring. We've kept everything default. And summer, then autumn. And then we've got wealth... You've got number of days stored food, 1.9, and then you've got fodder. So if you click each one, it'll tell you what each is inside. So we've got logs there, equipment, and the food is down in there as well. Very pretty game. Up here, you've got, they need 10 houses for our 10 population here. And there's our population progress down here as well. You can pin any kind of menu that you open to, which is pretty cool. And then Simple Stonemason is the one that will go out and grab the, what's it called? rocks and up here is the spot so you see there are 10 stones there they're the ones on the ground i didn't see okay up here is like a massive stone thing kind of gives me going medieval vibes i won't lie to you except rather than looking after just a few colonists you look after them all so what we're going to do is use this natural path that's already created here i'm going to pop the stone mason right there and then what i'm going to do is connect up the road just through here just to that bridge, the natural bridge that's already there. And then there's one other thing you want to do. So we've got our forester stump, so they're going to go ahead and start chopping down trees. You can obviously plant your own trees as well. So all you need is the uh, bark roots and sprouts. We have 97 in stock, so you want to make sure you're kind of grabbing some in. So we'll put some in ready, and then we'll go into maybe some basic house. Well, in a moment. But the campfire is a place where people can eat, drink, tell stories, and have a good time together. Not a bad idea as well to get a campfire in, but we need to choose where our housing is going to be. And I think I want it over here. What I'm going to do off this bridge piece here is actually go ahead and remove that. So we've got a bit of a stone. We could have a bit of a square in there once they get rid of it. I say it wasn't working. So if you press tab, you can change the design of your house too, which I think is pretty cool. There's quite a few. So you've got these triangle ones, you've got the round ones. 
quite like these little triangle ones, I'll be honest with you. It was taking a, a second to kind of integrate. I think each house is for two people, so we're going to need five to start. I'll probably just do a row there, so they've got a little bit by the river. I think that'll look quite nice. And then we'll get maybe the campfire around here with some housing as well. You can also build dams, I believe. Yeah, a weir. A stepped weir to completely impound the water during dry periods, but still allow sufficient water to pass during floods. So, if we were being good with that, we would pop it right here. That will allow the water to pass there, but also keep water for our crops and stuff as, as the change as well. So, we'll get a weir down over there. It does cost um, planks, which we don't have any. We'll need to obviously produce some. I'm not going to go into it yet. I'm just placing it so we have it. The soaring place there, look, makes uh, planks or firewood. Kind of just letting it play at 3x at the moment. We did get our gathering hut in now. You can kind of set priorities of what you want them to get and a max inside of each. So it's quite deep in that way. So just a little bit about the game from me then. We um, we have a couple of days earlier than, uh, than the release date. But the release date is the 2nd of April on Steam. The link is down in the description as well. So please go check it out and let me know your thoughts as well. Thank you for the key as always. To appreciate and let, allowing me and trusting me to actually check out a game. All right, let's get back in here. What's this? Arrival. As dawn breaks, you and your little expedition reach a breathtaking hilly area. You can feel it in your bones. This is the place where you'll build a new settlement. All right, now it's time to put the promise of a good life into practice. Who knows? Maybe you're about to found one of the most important settlements in the Empire. I'm also going to mention just briefly that it will be in early access as well. We know that literally everything I play is blinking early access, isn't it? Right, what do we have here? Calling up the overview, changing names. Open the faction window by clicking on the number of settlers or by pressing F. Ah, okay, so a little bit like the Timberborn kind of related thing, but with people, right? So my current progress in this level, we've got age, we've got happiness and health, and we've got the items there. Hurrying, no problem. Now, I'm not sure if I did actually mention, just want to point out that this is... What are you doing? This is 100% blind. I don't have a clue what I'm doing here. Oh, we can kill those for food. So that That's why I wanted to kind of... Enjoy and have the fun with you as we play as well. So is there some kind of hunting thing? Hunting Lodge is tier 2, so we can't do that one yet. That's fine then. So we'll, we'll hold fire on that one. They're all sleeping outside, as you can see. Who are you? Oh, they're all piled on to Luca. You can name every single person as well, which is pretty cool. If you click on each one as well, you can kind of get an overview of them. You can force on this as well to make someone build. So if you go, rather than leaving it optional, you can go ahead and force someone to do it. If we click on one of these, you click vacant, and then you click select, Erica will go ahead and start working on that one, and will exclusively work on that building until it's done. Let's have a look at some of these then. Let's have a look through the menu. High wooden gates, wooden fences, secure, small lantern, high lantern, wooden torch, packages. I think if we get this fire, be fair, the build cost is pretty low. I think that would be smart. I'm going to go ahead and plonk the fire right there, because they were complaining about being cold, right? That should help. And then I'm just going to speed it up a tiny bit to get some of this stuff done. We've got one person working on the stonemason. So what's this? Delivered good raw stones. Oh, look at this. So I'm just clicking on the wood hut, for example. Look at this. You have upgrades here. So not enough storage space. No problem. Upgrade available. Collection speed plus one. Yearly cost 10 branch. Okay. Carry space plus six. Yearly cost one rough rags. One rough few stone. We could potentially do that. Processing speed gonna do it we're gonna get that upgrade because actually we're producing the raw stone at the moment okay so you can increase priority you can change the max i'm not sure if any of these are working properly i don't know there's no change i can do on there but there's our first little hut there look look at that that's not the style that i did those two are a different style that's fine we can see who stays in there you can also get upgrades bonus sleep plus five Ooh. comfort plus 10 and one pet space share your home with a pet Yearly cost 10 grass. I mean, as much as I'd love that, I'm not going to do it right now. So I'm just going to slow it down. There's some nice, cute little uh, bunnies going through there. Look, European hare. So, use the building menu to find out how to produce firewood. No problem. Raw wood is processed in planks or firewood. So, what we're going to want to do is potentially have this near our forager's hut. Going to start there. It's going to be our little production area over here. Let's have a look at what these are. The bushes... Last produce leaves, nothing then. I might cut through this and get a road going through to match the two up. Just like a bit of a block, I think. Let's do that. And then let's speed it up just that little bit here. Down here, you've got the uh, massive map here. Color based on the world map. What do we have? Heat map. You've got water source. We've got dirt. Okay, and then nature. We like the nature one. 
Oh, you can highlight each individual thing. I like that. So we can see where our people are. We can see where the dangerous things are. Grey wolves are down there. Look, I really like that. That's super cool. So good to know. So I'm going to cut out a lot of the in-between and we'll kind of go when anything kind of happens. I want to kind of showcase any of the different tiers and, and what kind of the game has to offer, actually. But as I say, I'm learning this as we go in. So I've just clicked the map button down here. It shows us there. So Logan's just too far away to discover right now. It looks like we can do trade with other factions later on in the game as well. Yeah, it's diplomacy. We need to build a community center to start reallocations and faction quests. Same with transfers. Cool. Very, very good to know them. Right, let's get these prioritized then. So we want all the houses kind of priority over everything else. So I'm going to bring harvest grass up. I don't think there's any in vicinity, actually. We've got no grass. That's why the houses aren't being built. So let me look where the grass is here. And there we go. We've got a campfire up. Nice. Rough rags. Use the build menu to find out how to produce rough rags. At the moment, we need to keep our people free to kind of do that, though, don't we? We could also go in and just check it out. So that's going to be the tailoring. Rudimentary tailoring place. So building cost is also 15 grass. Everything else is okay, though. So we're just going to place things down for now to kind of get a bit of a village started. Tempting to put a path going through here because it looks like they only use the path once they're built as well. We probably want to reduce the max down on the firewood because they're going to keep using the logs. At the moment we've got 30, uh, we've got 10 raw wood but we're going to want to make planks soon. There you go, have no homeless people. So all the grass that we get in now is going to be good. So let's uh, slow it down now. They've managed to finish that off. We're a few days in now. As you can see it's Monday. Spring is flying. We're going to get into the rough rags right here. So it looks like grass is then used for that. So the only way we can get a population increase, I'm going to assume, is by having birth or freeing up for people to arrive. So there's a little ladder on top of that one. We'll get two more in to see how they kind of perform. And then hopefully, although we're going to have the grass going in, I want this one to be prioritized. Make sure we do get some more rags in. We don't have any wool, so it looks like we'll be able to rear sheep and get some wool eventually as well, which is good. Not sure whether these sheep are eating my stuff. Yeah, see, wool and milk. That's good. But each item is going to obviously be able to produce a lot then. So let's check out some of the stuff around the map. I can see a tin deposit right there. We've got the grey wolf over here produce a little bit of meat. Lots of different items. Vegetables, so each colour, I'm guessing, is a different vegetable you can get or has a chance to produce a broccoli out there. Right, I'm just going to open this one to see. So at the moment we have 70 bread. I think we still have the cereals to create bread. That's the thing we need to consider. So we're going to need to get probably more gatherer hut for the vegetables as well at some point. Now I see a little bit up here. All of these will be producing at some point. They're just not growing very well at the moment. Some have better soil than others. My assumption is going to be housing, like in Timberborn, you know, when you put housing down, that's how they can give birth um, with the bulk tails. I reckon it might be similar to that, so we'll see. Oh, look at this. I've just noticed that string bit walking around is where he's walked. Everywhere he's walked. They look like berry bushes up there, too. I can already see that there's going to be big depth here. We've got to be careful because there is a wolf up there. We can get up to that, but up here is a really good spot for a gatherer's hut. Let's do that. And then we'll get a path to this. Not the most ideal. Oh, we don't want... What did I do? I put that... Oh, yeah, path there. Go like that. Then we'll bring this up to there. So we've got a little bit of a path going up here. We should be able to pick all of those in then for food. I'm seeing 0.8 number of days on the stored food. So we're not keeping up with our demand here. We may even be able to get a bit more grass in as well. So let's speed it up. European hair steals food from crate. I've just noticed things are popping up here. I've just skipped through two days real quickly. Um, we're back in. Let's speed it up again. It's crazy how fast you can skip days. Actually, I like that. There you go. We've gone up from 0.5 to 0.6. So food needs are being met slightly. Uh, so yeah, big help there by getting that one in. So we're maxing out the vegetables here. For now, we can just say leave it at that. Um, and they'll do grass last. What are you doing? So you've got grass. Yep, that's fine. Roots and sprouts should always be last, I feel like. So at the moment, we don't need any. We've got 64 for planting. Now, what we can do is continue to, in the meantime, plant the trees. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Pretty sure we've got a good amount. A good source of wood, branch, and leaves. That's a good source of wood and branches. Old forests can yield mushrooms. Okay, so you could do like a mushroom forest with the conifers. Plenty of yummy fruits from a, a fruit tree. 
grass. Various animals plant a new patch of grass. So if we go ahead and do something like this, we can plant some grass. Eventually that will grow, right? All right, with the grass coming in then, I'm going to try and get this rags completed here. I'm seeing... Let's go to max two actually in there. So they are starting to bring the... We have six in stock. 35 there. So they're finally getting some down. So we should be able to get this going. Let me see if someone's employed. Yep, Luca. Come and get your stuff. There we go. Are you producing it finally? Hey, there we go. We got it. Perfect. We finally got it then. So that's that tutorial done. All right, let's slow it down. So next it wants a hand mill. Don't forget to build roads. People walk faster on them. I've been doing that. Don't you worry. You don't have to. But yeah. Baker's simple oven and a hand mill. So I guess a simple oven's more effective. But let's check out this hand mill that they're talking about then. So quite a lot of work to mill the grain by hand. But after some passes, the flour can be packed. That gets cereal grains and turns it into flour. Okay, we'll get a hand mill in then. I don't think we have any population to do this. I'm not sure where I want my industry at. I've got it relatively close to the housing. Let's pop it here then so I can kind of just keep it all in one area slowly. All right. I think F10 hides the UI. There we go. We can get a beautiful, colourful look at this as well. I'm quite enjoying it. It's quite peaceful, actually, so far. I'm told it's quite difficult game. So you do need to be careful. It kind of ramps up. So I am. that's why I'm kind of taking my time and seeing what comes of it. So I'm thinking about getting a little road through the middle here, actually. A little bit more efficient as they're walking around. And then I might start to get roads going this way as well. So as you can see, we've managed to grab the... The weir did go in. So, right there, look. That is kind of blocking, so that does mean... Interesting to see if we get hit by a drought, we will actually be holding the water in. I'm going to slow it down a second. Alright, hand mill is done. Let's get our baker's simple oven in now, which is this one. So, quite exposed to the elements, at least... It is at least warm, close to the oven. With some flour and other ingredients, we can make tasty food. So we kind of want this around the house. I might make this the kind of housing area. I think I'm going to pop it... Give it a go, and then until people are kind of coming, I'm not going to get any more housing in. I'm just looking, and we need to try and figure out what we're doing for water. There has to be some kind of water collection. Ah, uh, there we go, a well. So tier two, so we basically just need to get onto tier two. Now, obviously, if you want to see me playing more of this, do make it known as well. And let me know your thoughts so far. Obviously, I haven't gone too far in yet, but you can already see it's going to shape up. There seems to be a lot of depth to it already for an early access game, so... Quite pleasantly surprised so far. Now what I'm going to have to do, I can notice a small stream coming through there. We're going to have to make our way over to here eventually to make sure we can keep on top of the stone. Um, that upgrade on the wood thing was actually really good though. Everything else is good. So we got the two clothing and we rough rags. So maybe we'll... I'll keep the grass. Like the fact that we have some stored now does mean we can get some more in. So I kind of built too many houses, didn't I? So, Elaine is on her way. Five days remain. Continue to expand your settlement until Elaine returns in five days. Okay, mating season. <laughs> Jan to December. Procreation, procreative, 16 years to 36 years. Oh my god, the depth is going to be crazy in this game. Wow. Genetic effects. Wow. No way. So, I guess the red ones she can't do. Or are they negatives? Are uh, they negative genetic effects? These are positive, if, uh, positive effects. So, if you... I'm assuming you get two lovers together. You can end up with some, like, increased beast people. Genetically superior people in your colony. I don't know. That's really, really cool. Okay, reach level two in population progression. That's fine. So what we're going to do then is continue getting some of our housing down. There's no harm. I'm, I'm going to assume that we can probably upgrade some of these. So I think that bugs a little bit. I'm going to go back in and try that again. It's not letting me change the uh, look of it. Right, let's go with one there. Let's go like that. Now that's going to be a lot of uh, lot of different houses we select set down, but we're going to do it anyway. So we've got room for people if they come. And then the next thing is going to be focusing more on the food side of things. So get fruit, get grass is fine, harvest grain. I think over here, what we can do, we can turn up the max vegetables and things like that. And then we can also do, oh, is that the most you can do? I think it is. All right, our baker's simple oven is done. So what does that take? Flour and firewood. And we did get our hand mill. The milling grain. And how much does it take? I guess it just needs people in there. Let's make sure this is kind of... Give this job to someone. So Erica, you're going to work the baker's simple oven. And what I'm going to do in here is actually reduce one person at the campfire. 
untick that one. So we just so someone goes to bake over here as well. All right, as the baking begin. Yes, look at that. We've got the bread in now. 1.1 days. Check me out. Figuring it all out. 1.3. Holy crap. All right, enjoy your bread then, guys. And there we go. We got space. The houses are also getting chucked in, which is nice. So if you randomly put them down, they won't change themselves either. I reckon we could obviously make them happier by upgrading these two. But I guess Eliane, Eliane will kind of come and sort this out as well. I'm not quite sure how to reach level two prosperity. I might have a look at that. Yeah, nothing in the help menus to kind of say how to progress here. Oh, no, that means they increase to that another class. Sorry. OK, gotcha. Oh, that's going to be scary when you've got all that going on then. All right. All in all, though, we're actually looking somewhat OK on a lot of this. So, all right. There's a link to the wiki right here as well. So that's going to come in really handy. Actually, I need to check that. out. had a quick look. It's something I need to uh, look into a little bit more. But it looks like, to be fair, if I just play, I should be able to cause babies and stuff. Make sure it's male and female in here. They kind of enjoy each other's company. I'd have to wait a long time for the births then. So yeah, I'm going to assume that there's some kind of immigration of some kind. We'll wait for Madame Lady over here to kind of come in. Oh, what was this? Okay, Lonsville reached level 2. Region progress. How did I do that? What have we just unlocked? Okay, where to put the dirt? A settler approaches with a wrinkled nose. Good day. I've noticed an increasingly unpleasant odor in the village. It would be nice first place to dispose of it. Okay, we'll accept that. So, that they, they, they kind of give us quests. Now we're tier 2. That means we're going to unlock quite a bit, right? We don't even have the population to be able to deal with that. But I did see the cesspit. So, cesspit we're going to get in. And I kind of want this out of the way. I won't lie to you. Let's put you, put you over there for now. The cesspit going in. I'm just going to slow it down whilst we have a look then. But not even sure how I, I kind of met that prosperity factor. But we'll take it in our little town square here. Let's take a look at what else we have. So we have the well. Water's still running down, but it hasn't been a problem just yet. Uh, trees, uh, cheese we're not going to need. There are also some other things. So let's have a look. Hunting lodge, simple barn, well, and potter's workshop. We're not going to go into that. Fishing place would be our next one. Now... We don't even have people to actually run these thingies anyway. Small cabin, community centre, place to talk politics, decide about future developments, plan complex projects and gather relevant data. Now, that's good. I wonder if that's the one we need then. So community centre, it takes 10 of those, 50. Oh, okay, it's a good old build. Only necessary once per map. All right, I know what I need to do here then. Let's go with max three on that so they kind of get it there. Probably going to turn that one down. We don't want the rags out of that. We'll use just the grass at the moment. Then what we're going to do is get that community thing built. Now, what do we get? Oh, yeah, we need to fulfill the need for the rags. That's fine. And then I don't want to freeze or burn to death. Has not freed. Has not overheated. Unfulfilled. How do we fix that? Oh, okay. We need... Yes, he's fine. They cool down eventually on their own anyway. So, so we can get the next tier of cabin when we want as well then. So if we wanted to, I can kind of... Oh, wow, they're huge size of this thing building cost is significantly more for those two but i guess if we were to work on some of these and get their comfort up, what what is the so yearly cost is five raw wood i mean yearly cost is nothing now that i think about it because we've been flying through and we haven't kind of gained anything yet european hair steals food from crates all right we need a storage of some kind as well don't we how do we do that then i guess we fence it in no there's no real way i guess hunter's cabins are the one then <laughs> Wow, this is a big building. Um, I don't want that over here, I'll be honest. I guess they'll go out hunting no matter what, but we want them in a like position to walk over. I can see the walking up here, so what I might do is place it by the gatherers here. Then we're going to get a bit more in, so this is going to destroy a little bit of my thingies here. A little bit frustrating. But I want to build a block here that we can actually utilize. And it's fine. We can replant most things anyway. We're going to build all of our roads around there. We're going to get the hunter's lodge in. We still didn't get the fishing plate. What does that produce? Minor aquatic organism. All right. This is starting to grow out some fruits and stuff. It's a slow process, but it might be worth us also prepping a little bit more of the garden beds. So let's go with three more there. Kind of just decoration. I think I still want to go with the broadleaf trees around here as well. So wherever we can put in the broadleaf trees, we just want the nice forest over here for now that's close. And then I'll prioritize the hunter's cabin so that gets the first thing. I'm going to force someone to go into that and be worker for that. We're going to say, Luca, you're the least busy, so you're going to work on building that for now. 
just noticed there's one thing that we are struggling a lot for, and that is sticks. I wonder if we can cut some. Rather than bundling firewood, I'm going to turn that one off. We don't want to waste sticks to bundle firewood. We are just use that for now. All right, so what do we have here? I think she's arrived. And we've got community center, prosperity we're still doing. Discover the table hands desert. Well, table lands, sorry. We're not doing that yet. I'm going to finish this hunter shack before we move into the community center. I want this one prioritized. It's almost in, so they're focusing on the sticks now. Get those in. What we probably want to do is get another bunch of trees. They take a long time to grow, so as you can see, we're not going to gain anything until it's kind of grown. And as it gets cold, they won't grow anymore either, so I might get another lumber mill, forest stump, kind of away from this. I don't mind it clearing out. Over here is really good. Look at this. It's a full-on forest, and we might even be able to get some mushroom. Serious trees there. Let's get that going. Let's prioritize the sticks on this one. So we're going to put the branches up here. All right, let's look at getting this community center kind of place. This thing's huge. This is kind of like the opening thing then. So we're nowhere near to even starting the game until this thing's placed, which is quite, quite funny, actually. I don't really want to destroy a lot of my resources. Over here is probably where we're not using any. So then I can fit a couple of workspaces in there as well. It looks like we could then potentially fit some stuff in there. But that is going to be costly. There we go. And boom. Look down before I go too crazy. We have this. So, hunt deer. Ah, is it a level thing? I'm not sure. Storage, storage, storage. That's fine. Oh, okay. They're all poor. So we could kind of turn that on. We'll go raccoon, rats. We kind of want the hare, if I'm honest. They keep eating everything. So, let's go something like that. We'll turn that one on. We don't want sheep. Go raccoon. Anything that's kind of over here. Very, very dull looking in the rain. I'm just thinking we're going to need a good amount of food at some point. So hunting was probably a good time to get onto that. We're probably going to want fishing too. Then we can flip them to that, right? So fishing wise, we can go here. So that gives us a good fishing spot right there. Three times surface water. I reckon you can go on the corner there. Five times surface water. Just thinking. Um, we'll keep the wolf in case they come in. But actually, screw it. We're going to hunt the cows. We're going to hunt the cows. They're pretty close, right? We don't have any employees, but I'm going to force someone to do it. So, Luca, you're going to be our new hunter. You're going to try and hunt some stuff. And then I'm going to fly through and see how we get on. So, with the rain going here, we should be fine. I'm wondering whether it either freezes or dries over. At the moment, there's no kind of drought that's kind of going over us at the moment. What I'm really enjoying about it is how every little thing actually matters. Pretty damn cool. If we are hunting here, then are you doing anything yet? Luca, come and do it. I think I want to put the uh, the cows up there. Are cows nearby, so I wanted to kind of see if he was going to go ahead and do that. Do it. The cow right there and over there. Okay, we've started delivering quite a bit of materials here, actually. Have we started building our roads yet? We have as well. That's good. So roads are coming in nicely as well. Let's speed it up then. So food wise, we're getting rather low, though. We're going to need. All right, what do we want to do here? Let me check. But grain, we're milling into flour constantly. We need to bake the bread. That's good. We don't want to do too much. So I'm just trying to figure it out to make sure we are good. We don't need to worry about that too much. We want to get the vegetables. How are you looking over here? Got any vegetables? Everything kind of drying out at the moment. I guess the fishing is going to be the one that we want. So fishing is in. Erica, you're the least busy. You're 87%, so you can do some fishing. All right, yearly cost of five branches is feeding. Make sure the food is not waste. 50, we're going to get the upgrade. The yearly cost is five branch. Feeding efficiency is plus 40%. In all fairness, we just need a bit more population because like this one right here, at the moment we've got... To be fair, I could say collect mushrooms first. If they're ever in this deep forest, you're going to get some mushrooms. If not, carry on. Maybe the other one should do that, but over here there's not many trees anyway, so it's kind of good going into this forest, I think. I think that cow's eating my stuff. And yeah, water is slowly going down, so we're obviously going to need to get... The fruit does give a bit of water for the people as well, but we are going to need a well. I'm pretty sure if we get over here, that's going to be the problem, isn't it? So realistically, we want to hold maybe water here with a weir. We also want to do the same at each drop, so water is held correctly and keeps us going. So get it. Also, if we do some upgrades, can we get, like, efficiency, yearly cost? That one there, look, collection speed... 
pick up and put down materials. Let's get that one. That has some kind of yearly cost as well, but that'll be really good. They'll run around a bit quicker. Now we'll see if we can do the same for one of these. So what do we have? Collection speed, carry space, processing speed. Process goods efficiently. Let's get those two upgrades on that one. We're also going to do the same over here. It's going to cost us yearly, but I think those upgrades are going to help us food a little bit quicker. And obviously we are going to need that. It looks like we did use up that raw meat. It's either that or it went bad. No, I am seeing... There we go. We're baking some bread up now. Perfect. We are getting some stuff in. I'm concerned because we're going to have to get through this season with this little bit of uh, stored food at the moment. And we've almost put in everything we need for the community center as well. Perfect. Hey, we're getting some mushrooms. Look at this. We must be picking some from in this forest then. Or it's from the other one. Where are we getting that from? Yeah, we are. That one's maxed out. So we must be getting some mushrooms from over here, which is really, really cool. And you get some water from mushrooms too. These are all things you can sell. I'm seeing they all have a value. If you hover over them, it tells you how much each are worth as well. The cows are bloody eating my food again. Kill them all. Look at that. We've got a whole bunch of raw meat here that can be cooked up as well. The Vincent, when you're free, so what do we have? Total wood used, minus 30. Do we have enough stone to be able to do this? Stone blocks, we can't do that one. Food efficiency, we can't do. We're not actually doing, we're not producing any of that stuff. The only one we could do is that. But I don't think it matters. The one thing I want to point out with this game as well. I'm just going to hide the hub uh, a second. I'm going to go over, and I'm actually just going to go in. We're going to find one of these. So every single piece of wildlife, it's a big selling point for the game, is influenced by what happens on the map. So if you start cutting everything out, their happiness will dwindle. And actually, they won't be as good. But they all have needs as well. So as you can see, the sheep on this map currently are very, very happy. Now, past that, I don't really know too much about it. It's only what I've read about it. But it's worth noting. And then you get good genetic effects. So each birth rate, as you can see, they get different kind of perks based on all this i think if they start giving birth and they're naff all of that matters as well so i just don't know if i'm ready for the type of depth i'll be honest that's kind of scary how how much depth is going to be in the game right anyway we're not going to need to factor in this well i'm just looking here and what we we'll want actually the water on it so thing not sure how this thing works this simple one does not reach too deep so it seems to be okay you can just kind of put it anywhere right so if we were to put a well here i think that matters i don't know at the moment we have the river so i wonder if we eventually are going to be able to grab from that all right how are we looking all right pending just a bunch of stone then let's see to prioritize you that'd be fantastic speed it up and see if they actually go and work on the stone because everything else should be good so once they hit the max on that they'll go and work on the other things anyway it's just food for now seeing mushrooms come in there we go, we've just had a big harvest before we get into the snowy time. And once again, that looks super cool. Oh, that just... Super cute, man. Hey, you guys are cold. Keep baking that bread. Alright, just hovering over the food. So that's a stored food. People can also eat food directly from nearby plants. Daily requirements vary according to activity and heat. Energy is simulated for each item and person. Daily requirement is approximately 2,400 calories per person. That's actually crazy. But they will go off and pick on the trees if possible as well then, which is good to know. This is just what we have stored. I'm not seeing any kind of like food storage. You would think there'd be like a dinghy. This one would be good if we can get that. I want to see what the barn's all about, but at the moment I want to focus all stone because that's going to use some stone to be built, right? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, we can actually get that then. Waiting. So, I don't know. Where do we want our first barn if we get one? Let's put it up here. That's cool. Just kind of check out the buildings, I think. And it looks like we have the first snowfall. People check the storage for foods and available material. Hopefully we will survive the cold season. So I guess this is our first tricky task, right? Oh, what do we have here? A family knocks on the door. Family arrives late in the... I completely missed this. They saw from the northern part of the empire and have traded their last belongings to come here. Hardly any work in their village and taxes were raised again in the spring. They seem pretty desperate. Do you take them in? Oh, we just gained four more people. There we go. Sasha joins Alexandra, jo Johannes, and Leandra. You've got to check your messages. I'm an idiot. Okay, we have four people. Well, you came in time for that. Now, that hopefully means we can get more people working, right? So if I hover over here, is there anything... Ah, is food being stored inside of these? Anyway, that's why you need the storage. Then raw wood yearly cost. I mean... Yeah, we got some people in, so that's going to help anyway. So I need to keep an eye on that if we want to get more in. 
Oh, our barn got completed as well. So what do we do here then? Activities, harvest good, provide food. But I'm not sure what will happen. I don't know whether that just means the cows will like come over and eat. So population control, harvest goods, want milk, right? Provide water, probably not. Provide food's okay, we can give them some grass, that's fine. We'll have one person working that. We'll see if we can kind of get the cows over then to produce some milk for us. Wonder if that works. And then in here, we're going to probably move that down <laughs> a little bit. Although we can bait the cows in and then kill them. Oh yes, look at that. We've just produced our first bit of milk. Yay! Oh god, we got no water. Yes, it all freezes. Oh man. Right, you're going to have to survive on fruit and milk, guys. Um... Yeah, let's get that prioritized. Reduce the priority on that one. Get the well done. There we go. All right. Thank God for that. We just survived and got ourselves some water just in the nick of time from that well. That was very, very close there, but we did manage it. Yep, we're good. I guess... So do we get calories from the milk? Yeah, 70 calories from some milk as well. So that's good. That's going to help. So we don't necessarily need to worry about this figure as much. As long as there's a little bit in there, we will survive. That... It's very, very deep and it scares me. So over here then we have crafting rags we can use from the wool because we're actually getting some wool in now. So I might change that. Say you're no longer crafting from that. We're going to go so basic clothing. The crafting rags then clothing. This will make them a little bit happier. And actually you can sell them for gold each when we get into that. So once we have this 30 more rock we should be able to grab those in as well. And we officially are into our second year, guys. Right, I really want to finish this one off. All right, so I think two people died. Don't know if they were old or left or what happened because we are down population right here. Sorry to you if that was the case. I am flying through to try and get this done. It's almost there. Cat steals from fishing place. Oh, no. Feed fishes? Uh. Oh, it gives you the minor aquatic organisms if you feed the fish. What does that do, though? I think that's where we're getting all our meat from, isn't it? All right, with the milk in, I think we can go into some cheese now. So it opens dairy. Preserves milk to produce various ranges of milk products. So we're going to have the farm-related stuff up here. So we're going to have a little bit of a milk produce area here to make some cheese. But I am going to prioritize the building first, our community center. It's huge. That Right, we have a couple of people. Yeah, there we go. So, died... Uh, died from the cold. Died from the cold. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. They died from the cold in the winter. That's fine. We're two up from last year. A bit of a weak first year. That's fine. I, like as I say, I am learning, so it's fine. Oh, and we're getting a nice big... Oh, no. Every time these grow, the animals kind of eat it. How do I stop... Oh, I'm going to fence it. That's what I should be doing. There, yeah, maybe? And then we'll get a high wooden fence. You. We're going to go... Once first plot here. I don't know if this is going to destroy everything, but we're going to try it. So I'm going to fence this off. Um, and yeah, we'll get the animals out of there. Hopefully they'll stop eating this. That's probably what I did wrong the whole time. I should, probably should have just fenced that in and then we'll be okay. We'll be getting loads more food anyway. And there it is. We have completed our main big building. Look at that. And our fences around the crops. Look how cute this is starting to look. Took me a while to get there. Apologies. That was terrible. Right, let's open our quest thing here. So we've got Discover the Tablelands. Open the map and select a region to start expedition. Requires 10 bread and 3,600 work effort. So I'm guessing it's over here because it says that, right? We're going to try it. I'm not sure what will happen when we go through that. Uh, oh, here we go. So now we've unlocked this. We have possible immigration. Okay, and then we have schedule. What is this? Ah, working. Determine the working time per day. So I'm going to say Timberborn. All over, but with people, right? With way more depth. Wow. Okay. I've got a lot to learn. Right. I'm going to pause it up, guys. And that's going to be where I say, let me know your thoughts. And if you would like to see this continue, obviously, let me know. Might be something that I try and maybe stream on occasion. I don't know. It's pretty cool, though. As always, though, if you could just smash the thumbs up, it really, really does help. And let me know your thoughts on the game comments as well. And subscribe if you aren't already. As always, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon.